Hello, good people of YouTube. Mountbatten here. And, oh my lord. Um, so originally the title of this video was referring to the ship that is the subject of today's video, which is the Tier 6 Techline British Battlecruiser Renown. Because we're going to make some very interesting choices with the version of Renown that we've got in-game. But now the title refers to not only the Renown, but the matches I had. Good lord. Like, I know it's patch week, but I just got off of around a two-hour loss streak in the Renown. For the past, um, let me check. In fact, when I'm recording this, my, my Renown's still in battle right now. Um, that match might actually break the streak. But we're on a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 game losing streak at the moment. And these aren't little losses either. They're big, huge blowouts. And what I'm seeing too, in 6 of these games so far... The team, my team, went to the exact opposite side of the map, and I went to the other side with one or two, sometimes just by myself, um, um, other players, and it was just a complete walkover one way or the other. I, I don't know if, like, Lemming Train is apparently the meta at Tier 6 or what, but it ain't working, and it sure was pretty painful, so I apologize if I don't have any super great footage of the renown in the background for this video but good god i don't know what's going on and i know you can say matchmaking submarines cvs and all this jazz but it was a miserable experience anyway enough complaining about matchmaking let's talk about the main subject of today's video which is the renown the tier 6 british battle cruiser that's currently in early access so the renown herself is a historical ship she's a real still historical ship but the version we have in game did exist but it's after all of her action that she saw during the Second World War. And the biggest change, besides just visually to the Renown, is that she's missing her 10 4.5-inch secondary guns per side that she's supposed to have and that she had during some of her most uh, well-known engagements of the Second World War. And instead, she's in this 1945 refit that did happen, but um, she didn't do anything of this. She went in for a refit, and I think she was... The, the war ended, she was decommissioned, and they drug her back out, and they thought about completing her, but then they went ahead and scrapped the, the whole ship. So she's in this weird, like, mid-refit setting that's not i mean it's not historically wrong if they're portraying the ship in the 1945 version which they have said that they are but it's not the renown that most history buffs wanted in game now what happened with the renown and the repulse and the hood and the old battle cruisers and the old battleships of world war one that were carried over into world war two they were all supposed to get this this refit and get the superstructure like what you're seeing on the Renown right now. The hood was supposed to get a superstructure like this, along with, of course, updated AA and secondaries and things like that. But like I just said, the Renown is in this, again, weird mid-refit configuration where she never saw any actual action. So we have a ship that's in an incomplete refit that's participating in battles in game, which is a, again, weird decision off the bat, just from like the the, the style that they went with. And it is disappointing that she doesn't get her, you know, her 24.5 inch secondaries since they decided to go with the more brawler esque version of the British battle cruisers. Now, it's true they might be holding on to that exact configuration of Repulse, maybe for, I'm sorry, of, of, of Renown, maybe for a tier 7 premium, because having 24.5 inch secondaries on a tier 6 cruise uh, battleship is a lot of firepower so maybe they think it's too much for tier 6 and they're waiting for like a tier 7 premium version or a um, resource ship version to do i don't know but that's where the weirdness begins with the renown along the way she also by the way she has well let's take a look at her armor first i'm getting a little bit ahead of myself so she has the typical uh british battle cruiser armor scheme she has the of course and all, all in all with um the armor scheme of these battle cruisers and their maneuverability, Wargaming has done a very good job of getting the balance right between a battleship and a battle cruiser. The armor is, you know, well enough to protect the ship from um, um, 
well, battleships that have smaller guns for their tier, and especially when you're top tier in a tier 6 game and you're looking at some tier 5 uh, battleships, then you know you have enough armor to deal with those. But it's also good enough armor to deal with cruisers. Plenty of the cruisers that you're going to see, of course, they can't pin your armor like you know your your cruiser. It's thick enough to deal with that, but it's also not uh, too thick to where you're an actual battleship and you can sit there and tank shells. So they, they've done a good job with that. And I think that part of the not only the the renown, but the rest of the B British battle cruisers, they they've done well there. But if you play the rest of the British battle cruisers, you guys know what to expect. It's squishy when you're having to fight other battleships, but against cruisers and stuff, you are well enough protected to where uh, you can pretty much still chase those guys down and give them a, a second thought. But she has 55,200 hit points, 13% torpedo damage reduction. And her guns, this is where we start to depart from the line. So she has 381 millimeter guns. Those are 15 inch guns for my fellow Americans out there. 15 inch guns on a battleship at tier six. It's pretty large caliber. However, she does only get six of them. It ha as you may have noticed, with a 27 second base reload time and a 180 time of 36 seconds, and a maximum dispersion of 177 meters, and a maximum range of 16.9 kilometers. Not quite 17 kilometers. So that's a pretty short main battery gun range, as is par for the course with the rest of the line. But even at tier 6, that's a little on the stubby side for some tier 6 battleships. Her HE. She has a maximum damage of 5,350, and she has a 34% chance of causing a fire on the target per shell with a 6-gun battleship at Tier 6. Now, 6 guns at Tier 6 is pretty low, but again, you get 15-inch guns, so you have lots of overmatching potential with those 15-inch guns, but then the HG is really lackluster, so when you do get up tiered to like Tier 8 games, you're kind of boned in that regard because your HG's not great. 27 seconds with six shells mm, with a 34% chance of causing fire per shell. Mm, that's um <laughs> not that good. However, the AP they have the uh, they gave the renown normal BB AP. It's not the short fuse time of the British battleships and the uh, British battle cruisers from here on out, but normal AP, which is interesting because the Repulse, the premium ship, well, not version of the ship, but the, the Repulse same class, but a premium ship, different ship, has short fuse AP. So right there you go, oh, okay, it's an AP ship. You have 15 inch guns at tier six. When you're top tier, you get to overmatch other um on oh, the that battle shit it and it was a defeat here too you get to overmatch other um battleships at your tier and then tiers lower than you but then when you get up tiered you're kind of screwed with the guns first off they have a i get a maximum range of 17 km well 16.9 kilometers and then you have lackluster he but normalized ap so that does also mean that when you can get the broadsides of enemy ships, yeah, you're going to chunk them pretty good, especially, you know, battleships and heavily armored cruisers. But what wound up happening, too, with the Renown is that you overmatch a lot, a lot of Tier 6 and Tier 7 cruisers. You just overpit them so hard. Now, when they are angled, oh my god, you are going to slap them into the next dimension. But... Then we run into the situation where you do catch them broadside, which this is a battle cruiser, and like the British battle cruisers, it's very good at running down a flank, catching the sides of ships. But except when you catch the side of cruisers now that you've managed to successfully flank them, you overmatch them. I'm sorry, you you overpin them, and you do like you know 1,000 damage. And then they look at you with your battle cruiser armor, and they farm you down because again you are a battle cruiser and you are covered in 16 millimeters of armor at this tier the whole nose of the ship 16 um upper belt's 38 which is decent enough against he but again you want to run into some large cruiser uh, heavy cruisers and then tier 8 cruisers that really don't care about that so yeah uh but she also gets the funny torpedoes, the semi-guided, whatever you want to call them, gyroscopically guided torpedoes. She gets eight of those, four per side, and they do 10,000 damage per torp. So all in all, you have 80,000 potential 
maximum damage here in your torpedoes if you somehow get all eight of these torps off onto your target. They do have pretty poor angles though even for these new gyroscopic torpedoes that on like the higher tier ships give you much better torpedo launch angles on the renown here you still have to show basically your broadside to get your twerps off and then at that point you're really risking getting a citadel because again the armors you know it's a battle cruiser you're going to get blabbed if you get caught broadside by um an another actual battleship but the torpedoes are a nice source of damage if you're running up to somebody in a uh, in a duel. You dump those at them, and definitely if you get off for a hit, that's going to make any any tier six, tier seven, tier eight, uh, tier five battleship regret their decisions. She does get the ASW aircraft. Her A, she has an A rating of 62, which is decent by tier 6 standards. And she does get DFAA, so when you have that active, she is pretty good at dealing with tier 6 CVs. Uh, from my experience against tier 8 CVs, not so much. But again, a lot of that does lie in how good is the CV player at dodging flak. And then we go down to maneuverability. Of course, the battle cruiser, 31.4 knots is her maximum speed. Before you pop her engine boost consumable, and she has a rudder shift time of 14.3 seconds and a turning circle radius of 800, 840 meters. Her consumement, when you fully build into it, is pretty darn nice 11.3 kilometers with a full build. That's a darn good consumement for a battleship battle cruiser at this tier. So, looking at her consumables, she does get DFAA, she gets engine boost, which gives her an 8% boost for 120 seconds. And she gets a repair party, 331 HP per second, active for 30.8 seconds, regen to 76 seconds, and a damage con that is active for 16.5 seconds and reloads in 78 seconds. Which is actually pretty nice that the damage con does run for 16.5 seconds, one of the longer running damage cons. So, and it's not the um, quick cooldown damage con either, so you get an infinite number of charges on it, which is very good considering how much HP is going to be slung at this ship. So... The Renown overall is in a weird place, both with the design that they chose to run with and what they gave her. I At first, when I heard that she had the normalized AP, I was actually pretty excited because, again, that means you get to overmatch and do some serious damage to battleships at your tier and even, um, of course, to a tier below you as well. So that sounds great, you know, being able to just... Be basically be a faster motto at your tier but she only has six guns and granted for a tier six battleship battle cruiser she does it she does actually have pretty decent accuracy but the reload time of 20 seconds really kind of crimps that a lot if she had maybe a 25 second base reload time because you gotta remember it's tier six you can't fit the module or anything and you can't really get that down besides adrenaline rush and granted with adrenaline rush and with how much damage the ship will be taking you won't really have much problem getting that reload um a few seconds lower, but I, I feel like if it was started at 25 seconds, that would have been a really nice uh, point for this ship, given how fragile it is. And again, you don't have good HE. It's not like you can you know, switch over to HE and once you get a 25 second reload, just burn the world down. You, you can't because you only have a 34% fire chance. So what winds up happening with the Renown, when she's top tier, this ship is amazing. She is a very fast ship with the ability to overmatch everything that she sees when she's top tier. She gets she gets the uh, the torpedoes, 40k alpha damage per side. Very useful in a duel. When the speed boosts pop, the ship is crazily maneuverable. She doesn't really have the range either, so you're forced to play her a little bit closer in. So it's not like you can you know sit in the back and just spam HE or AP from the back of the map. You have to get close. High risk, high reward. I like that type of gameplay here. But I feel like she's just this close to being something that can really hold her own when she gets up tiers. And there, there's so many ships that fall into this category at tier 6 that are great at their tier and terrible when they get up tiered. And the Renown is unfortunately another one that falls into this category. Again, we were like this close to getting this ship in a, in a, in a spot where she could perform well in tier 8 games as well. If they would give her a little bit faster of a reload time and maybe crank her uh, dispersion down just a little bit more... I think we could have had a really darn good tier 6 tech line ship here. I still think this ship is good. I think it's one of the better ships of the line. There is a bit of, well not a bit, it's a lot of frustration when you get double up tiered in this thing and you're simply just, you know, you're being spotted by the CV, you're spotted by a submarine and the tier 8 CVs are just going to wreck your day and then all the other battleships can of course outrange you at that tier 2. But 
yeah, we were so close to having a fantastic Techline Tier 6 ship here. I still think, again, it's on the better side, but mm, I did like it enough to where I went ahead and bought the uh, permanent economic boost for it. It's only 900 doubloons. And I do... Man, my PC, um, what are you doing? Sorry, I had a singular tab of Chrome open, and apparently that's too much for my i9. Alright. But anyway, I do feel like it's a ship that... If you enjoy the history of the ship, you will enjoy it. Unfortunately, again, it's not in the correct con configuration, but she can hold her own and do quite well in Tier 6 games. But when you get double up tier, ugh. unfortunately, I would say fall back and spam HE, but <laughs> you can't. I mean, you can do it. It's not going to be that great, but yeah. So close to greatness yet so far. Let me know what you guys think about the renown in the comments down below. Hope you guys have a wonderful Friday. We will be live streaming right here tonight on the channel on YouTube and Twitch, so make sure to come out for that. Hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Hope to catch you guys in the next one.